Yes. Um, obviously, you spent the, the week uh, thinking you might see a, a Mets lineup that included James and, and Kevin and Kyrie. So how did did that change much for you guys on the fly there when James was out so early? Uh, did it affect your rhythm at all, maybe uh, defensively? I don't think so. Um, you know, we still had the game plan. We still had uh, great players out there. Um, you know, a game plan on KD, a game plan on Kyrie, on Blake, all those guys. Joe Harris was still the same, you know, and uh, at the end of the day, we got to focus on ourselves and uh, try to compete as much as possible, make it as hard as possible for them. Um, so the game plan was still the same. Mentioning focus on yourselves, was it, a, was it as simple as just the shots didn't go in? You look at some of the number of points in the paint, rebounding, offensive rebounds. Some of the, there were some evens or advantages to your end other than three-point shooting or shooting in general. Oh, I think it was a little bit of everything. Shot didn't go in. Um, uh, did not compete as hard as we wanted um, defensively. Uh, I think we got to step that up a little bit uh, more, make it as tough for them as possible. Um, you know, in my opinion, it was, it was basically the same same game, uh, like game one against Miami, you know, a little bit. We didn't play for a week. Everybody had, you know, the adrenaline going, uh, the jitters, and uh, wasn't able to, you know, calm down as a team and, you know, take a, a, a breath and, uh, you know, play the right way and find our shots. But uh, obviously in that game, we were able to win that game, but now, you know, you're playing with a team that's uh, way better offensively, um, and they, they, made, they made a lot of shots. So. Uh, we just got to come out game to do a better job. Eric Kane, what were you kind of seeing offensively tonight? It felt like when you were getting the ball on the wing or like the side cleared out, you, you kind of had some spots to attack and then in the middle is a little bit more congested. Just kind of what did you see offensively? Just trying, you know, trying to make the, the right play, um, you know, for myself. Uh, going downhill, get to get to a spot. Um, you know, if I see a lot of people in front of me, try to find the right pass and uh, get my teammates going. Uh, but yeah, you know, um, obviously I've played I've played against them three times. Uh, you know, whenever you get in the paint, they go and try to reach, try to push, uh, try to you know get me on the spin, try to get a charge. You know, they're just um, doing a good job. You know, to you know try to keep me guessing, but. Um, we gotta keep, gotta keep being nice. We gotta keep attacking, keep getting that hill, keep screaming for one another, keep looking for uh, the open guy, keep knocking down shots. Just keep being nice, keep playing together, keep believing in ourselves, and um, we, we're gonna, we're gonna be okay. I hope we're gonna be okay. You mentioned trying to get your teammates going. I think Chris was like six of twenty-three tonight. Drew was seven of nineteen. What can you do to try to help get those two in particular going? I know with the shooters, it's a little bit easier for me to comprehend. Like you'll kick that open shot, but with Chris and Drew, how do you help them? Set better screens for them. Hopefully, they can go downhill. Um, shoot the pocket two or uh, pocket three. Uh, just get them open. Um, you know. When we defensive rebound, I can do a better job running so I can create a lot of attention so they can find driving lanes to uh, do their thing. Uh, when I have the ball, I can do a better job, you know, finding them so they can get like wide open threes. Uh, just keep keep playing, keep playing with one another, keep playing, you know, keep playing together and keep touching one another. Uh, I think that's going to be the key for us. and. Um, we we're going. I hope we're going to shoot the ball better. You never know what's going to happen, but I hope that going to game two, we're going to shoot the ball better as a team. We're going. We're going to make. Hopefully, we can make more threes, uh, play better defense, and uh, give ourselves a chance to win the game. Defensively, but it kind of put you on Kyrie to start the game. What do you think of that challenge? Obviously, we don't often see you just have the point guard as your assignment. Uh, obviously one of the best point guards in the league, uh, really crafty, uh, palm fakes, a lot of palm, palm fakes. Uh, you got to be really careful with, with him, you go, you go and get in uh, foul trouble if you, you know, put your hands and reach and all that. But uh, obviously it's a, it's a tough challenge, you know, but uh, um, what I love is the challenge and what I love is to compete and, uh, you know, whatever coach, uh, whatever assignment he gives me, I'm going to try to execute this. 
as a best as I can. Uh, and just try to make the stuff as possible for him or for whoever I guard. Zora Stevenson. You all have had nights before where you've been successful despite what you shoot. Shoot from the three-point line, you kind of spoke to game one versus Miami. What do you feel like you all have done in the past in those situations that maybe can carry over the next time? Hopefully it doesn't happen, but the next time it may happen. What, what do we usually do when we don't shoot the ball good and we win games? Exactly, exactly. Like in Miami game one, right? You guys weren't necessarily shooting well from the outside, but you still came up with the yeah. win. I know you're talking about it's different talent, but still, what do you do in those situations? Oh, we, we rely on our defense. We try to get stops as much as possible, but uh, obviously, you know, nothing against any players, you know, now we're playing against one of the best players in the world and one of the best scorers to ever touch, you know, uh, you know the ball. So, so it's a little bit harder, you know. And obviously, we we're gonna try to do the better job, you know, getting stops. Uh, but in the Miami game, we didn't shoot the ball better. We were able to get offensive rebounds. We were able to get stops, but the the talent level, you know, was wasn't the same. Now we're playing against, you know, Kari, KD. Joe Harris, one of the best shooters in the, in the league, so it's it's a little bit it's a little bit different, it's a little bit more hard. But at the end of the day, you know, we love the challenge. We're gonna stay together. We're gonna play together. Um, hopefully, we can uh, give us, give ourselves a chance to win game two. Keep playing hard. Given the talent level, I know you all are always focused on defense, but does that make offense even more important when you're playing people that can score almost at will? Does that make the Bucks' offense even more important to put pressure on you guys? I, I, I think offensively we're going to, we're going to figure it out. You know, I think we're a very talented team. Uh, we have guys that can uh, get downhill, shoot the three. Guys can that have great touch, very good offensively. But uh, big key for our team is that we got to we got to guard defensively together. You know, especially against this team. If we don't do it together defensively, we, uh, we're going to put ourselves in a very tough position to uh, win games. But if we guard defensively. Uh, together, we're going to have a chance to uh, figure it out offensively, like we always do. All right, one more to Tim Bontemps. Uh, kind of two things quick. I, I was curious, I think you guys had eight offensive rebounds in the first quarter, and then I think seven the rest of the game. I was curious if Brooklyn did anything um, differently as the game went on to take you guys off the boards. And it, in terms of Blake Griffin, he obviously made a big impact today. Beyond his shooting, do you, is there anything you guys have to do to try to match his energy inside. It seemed like he was pretty active on the boards and trying to get after his balls. Uh, I think uh, offensively, for the offensive rebounds, I uh, was able to you know go to the board as much as possible. Obviously, we're not going to get all of them. We were able to get 15 in the game, that which is pretty good, very, very good. Um, you know, defensively right now, I don't know what the adjustment is going to be. It might not, it might not adjust. we got to go back, uh, watch the tape, um, see what we can do better. And if coach wants us to adjust something, we'll adjust something. We're going to try to do whatever it takes to uh, to win and to uh, make the stuff for them as possible. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.